I wanted to do another video about FreeDOS for Linux users, and I wanted to show off the VI editor. So if you're a Linux user, you may be very familiar with VI as a way to edit text files. Uh, under FreeDOS, we have a version of VI called Elvis. So this video is just a uh, showing off uh, VI uh, to edit a couple of uh, simple text files and kind of show off some things that it can do. So uh, let's get started. Uh, now I'm going to do a quick sidebar real quick, and that is if you are a Linux user, you may be more familiar with using uh, the ls command to display the contents of a directory. Uh, ls isn't a command in FreeDOS, so uh, you're going to get a bad command or file name. Uh, you actually would have to use the uh, dir command. Uh, if you want to make it look more like the Linux uh, ls command, you can actually create an alias, and that alias uh, it looks just like this alias ls equals and we're going to say okay what is the ls command actually going to execute we're going to have it execute dir but we're going to actually do uh, order it by uh, name and then extension we're also going to uh, make it a wide directory listing and we're going to put everything in lowercase and we're going to do a bare listing. That means it's just not going to show the summary information at the top and the bottom. And so doing that, every time we type ls, we're going to actually uh, execute that dir uh, with those options. And it will look kind of like the original uh, Linux uh, ls command. So having done that, uh, let's end that sidebar. Let's actually go into VI. So we can uh, do uh, VI, and uh, let's just do it against a sample file uh, and show you some of the things that it can do. So uh, uh, if we do a VI on hello.bat, which doesn't exist, a new file, uh, this will actually do uh, uh, conditional highlighting based on the type of file that we're editing. So let's go ahead and type I to insert. Uh, and we'll start typing. So we can do uh, at uh, echo off, right? That's what a batch file would do. It would, it would turn off echoing. Uh, and this is a very simple command. Uh, so we're going to just echo the, the command or the, the text, uh, hello world. And you can see it's doing uh, conditional formatting where it's uh, highlighting in different colors uh, the echo command from uh, the options to the echo command. And so that's kind of a neat thing that... Uh, uh, that Elvis will do for you. Uh, let's go ahead and exit out of this file. I don't need to save it, so I'm just going to do uh, escape uh, to get into the command mode, and we'll uh, type a colon, and then Q, and that'll exit out of... Uh, oops, I need to do a Q exclamation point uh, to force it to exit there, because I haven't saved the file. Uh, let's do another type of file, uh, just to show you, it will do other types of uh, conditional formatting, so we'll do uh, vi on uh, hello.sh, right, a standard Unix shell file, uh, which also doesn't exist, so we're going to get a new file. Uh, we'll do i to insert, and uh, we can just type in uh, the standard text you'd put at the top of a text file, uh, we'll put in the... Um, that with bin sh, you can see that uh, comments are showing up uh, in a different color, and uh, it's doing more conditional formatting based on commands that are showing up here. Hello world. You can see here that it's now doing these uh, different comments in different colors, uh, and the echo command is um, uh, in a different color from the options to the echo command. And let's do one other quick example. I'll just exit out of this. So I'll do escape to get into that command mode. Uh, the colon uh, and then uh, Q to quit, but I haven't saved the file, so I'll just do an exclamation point. And let's do one other file. Uh, just see what's in here. I'll do a VI on a, on a new file called uh, hello.c. Right? I don't have a hello.c, so we've got a new file. Uh, and we'll do I to insert, and we'll just start typing. So uh, we'll want to... We'll start with a comment, hello.c, right? Again, it's doing conditional formatting, uh, highlighting my uh, my comments in a different color. Uh, and uh, we'll do a um, include uh, standard io.h, uh, maybe do an include on standard lib.h. Uh, and now my main function, which doesn't need to take any options, and uh, isn't going to really have an exit uh, anyway. So um, uh, let's do uh, just, um, I guess we'll do a put s on hello world. 
And so there you go. It's uh, just a quick uh, demo of using Elvis to edit files, text files on FreeDOS, and sort of the conditional formatting that you get with these colors to kind of make it easier to uh, spot errors in your code, uh, uh, make certain things stand out. So I'll exit out of that. And what'd you think of this uh, demo, quick demo of using Elvis on FreeDOS? Are there other FreeDOS programs you'd like me to show off? Let me know below in the comments. Uh, visit our website at freedos.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.